Hi, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm here with Dr. William Powell, and he is a volunteer at the Love Lady Center. I'm so glad to be with him today, and I have a few questions for him. Dr. Powell, how did you become affiliated with the Love Lady Center? Well, I'm sort of blindsided in church uh, where we go. They had Touching the World episodes, and they would have a big screen up there, and they put somebody up there, and a girl named Sandy Mogul had been interviewed, and she goes out there and does Bible studies. And so she was talking about the Lovely Center. And I used to live in those apartments about two blocks away out there, so I knew right where it was. And so, you know, I just said, well, that's nice. That's another way of touching the world. So I was walking away. I'm involved with medical missions, and I've been on 29 outside of the country, so I couldn't get out of my mind. So then I called um, Phil Walton, who was out there, and I said, Phil, you don't give me a tour? He said, oh, yeah, anytime. So I took my wife out there, and we were walking around and everything. And then, you know, it's not indigestion, it's the Holy Spirit talking to you. you know? <laughs> yeah. And so I just said, hey, you know, th this is it. i got to do something about that. Right. So I um, got involved with, I reckon, it's over 18 months now, you wow. know. And we got the chairs hooked up and uh, um, just just started working. And uh, I don't know, I, I got in touch with a, a Lev Bragg. He's an uh, uh, ENT. And his wife works in the library out there. And we were talking on the phone one night about this for about an hour. And because uh, it takes me 30 minutes to wind up just talking about the little lady. <laughs> and so uh, she said, you know, I've been on two uh, trips outside of the country, and this means more to me than those. And well, 20 years ago, I'd have argued. But you know what? Now it does mean more. Why? Because I get to see these ladies grow, change. And I got more of an input. In other words, in Brazil, I take out, these little kids come in, I have to take out the front 16 because I start thinking, I may be the only person that sees them that can help them. Up here, I got a root canal specialist that goes with me. I got two others that will do them. I can do some root canals. I can make some partials. I can restore their smile, give them their, give their self-esteem back. And so it does. It, it, it's taken, I mean, I've made a transformation because used to, you know, if you, if you didn't believe in foreign missions, I didn't want anything to do with you. It's, almost, it's worse than the Alabama Auburn thing here, you know. I don't want to do it, you know. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you don't say but with me and get out there and start swimming, you know. Right. But but now that this has really opened my eyes because before now we were doing like I did a Bible study every Tuesday night for four years, Alabama Clinical School. Those are youthful sex offenders, ages nine through eighteen. Wow. And they drew the bottom of the barrel, they had to listen to me about every every time. And then before that we did the Bradford and Oak Mountain every other Thursday night for four years. Mm -hmm. And then I worked at Empower and I did uh, Dentistry for Shelby Baptist Association. I used to do City of Hope, which is now the Foundry. I did Mama Lois out there at the, at the Grace House. You know, I, and Bread, Bread and Roses did some of the, you know, it just, but, but now I really got a focus. And uh, it's like Saban says, focus and finish. <laughs> right. and, 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 <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Dr. Powell is a dentist. He is a volunteer dentist that comes to the Love Lady Center. How often do you come, Dr. Powell? Uh, every other Friday. Every other Friday. Can you tell me a story of maybe your most, I know there's probably many, but your most well, memorable I, I think one of the first ones that caught me. The little girl on Friday out there, her name's Angie. And um, I can't remember her last name. Of course, I can't remember my last name. That's the time. <laughs> but uh, she, she told me on Friday that she had lost her kids in a court. And the judge had looked at her and said, you can't be much of a mother with a smile like that. It's methamphetamine. That's not his right to say that, okay? So instead of going after the judge, I went after her smile. So we took impressions. I came down here Sunday afternoon, and I made her a parcel. And uh, we, we bonded two teeth here, two teeth here, and we took out the front four, put the parcel in. Within about two months, she got her kids back. They gave me a little surprise birthday party out there last March. Here she shows up. She's curled her hair and dolled her hair up. She's wearing makeup now. She had a new dress on. I looked at Nurse Linda over there, and Linda had tear in her eyes. She said, that girl didn't talk the first three months of the year. But, you know, she's got a, a new lease on life now. Yes. And she got her kids back and a new lease. So, you know, that, that yes. out there, it's a miracle. It is. It's a miracle. It, I mean, it, it reminds me of, in Scripture, you know, when they asked the blind guy the stupid question, who did it? I don't care who did it. All I know is once I couldn't see, now I can see. I couldn't smile. Now I can smile. Yeah. Amen. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, that is just an amazing story of transformation. Well, I got millions more, and all my patients here. If I got a captive audience, you know, <laughs> they're numb. I got the sharp objects. I got to listen. <laughs> That's great. Well, can you tell me um, really what it's meant to you to be a part of the Love Lady Center personally? 
Personally, uh, on my mission trip last year to Dominican, we saw 600 people accept Christ. We saw a bunch of patients down there. I'm the, I'm the leader. We had a small team, about 35. We tore down a house. We built a new house for this family. And we did the Mr. Bus Driver, we moved that bus, and we gave them the keys to the house. Oh, everything. wow. But the, but the thing is, we have a team meeting every night, and the word that we studied last year, I'm a, I'm a master of acrostics, and the word we studied was legacy. And you know, uh, I don't know, nobody knows when they're going to die, but my legacy is going to be invested in that, and anywhere where you serve Him. As you get old, you start seeing, you know, does this have value? Does this not have value? You know, and it's not exactly what you do. It's, it's, the, it's the motivation and the spirit in which you do it as well. And so when I go out there, I just love when the girls come in, and they tell me a problem. And I just sit down, and, and I have the time to, to pray with them, talk with them, encourage them, and things like that. And then they know that we care about them. Uh, preacher I once had as my pastor, he uh, he said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that's so true, whether you're a volunteer out there, or whether you're you know, going to Brazil, whether you're going to Dominica, or, or you're a partner, or anything, you know, that is so true. And so, consequently, uh, it, it, feeds, uh, it feeds me spiritually, and then it, it rubs off on a lot of people around here. Uh, I mean, people, patients come in, and then I had a Sunday school class the other day. They know I did some more denture teeth. And they were concerned about some of the stuff that they had read in the paper and saw on TV. And uh, a retired orthodontist told them, look, as long as Dr. Bill's out there, you know where it's going to go. So they bought me a check for like $780, and it's going to go to buy more denture teeth and more supplies. Awesome. Because I'm sort of almost embarrassed you know, to ask the church for any more support out there. So, you know, I called... Um, one of the new trustees and said, look, you go out and eat all the roast beef at these churches and talk to them. Talk to them about, you know, making a check out to the dental clinic, you know, because we need it. If that woman down there at that clinic can get it and other places can get it, then, I mean, we, we, we deserve it too. Uh, we deserve, uh, I mean, it's sort of embarrassing sometimes when you, you know, I have a size 15 foot and I put my foot on the uh, foot control down there for the drill and it doesn't work. You know, then, 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 you know, if I was sitting in the chair, I'd say, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, you know. And I'd just look and say, look, if it was in my office, it would turn on. But, you know, maybe we got the wrong hose hooked up out right. here. But, you know, they, they still trust us. But I wouldn't trust me if I, if, if I tried two out of the three hoses and they didn't work, you know. I'd be out of there in, in a shot. But um, I don't know. I come uh, last Friday, uh, pulled teeth, you know, most of the time about 9.30 until about 4. And... You know, there's only two things out there. You see, the too hot, or it's, or it's too cold. There is no intermediate. <laughs> and so, so it's, when they when they see me come in, they've got the vents closed. They can't turn the heat off, and uh, they say, "Get the fan, get the fan," you know, because they don't want to really have to do either CPR or say, "Dearly beloved, we're going to bury this dude here," because I, I sweat. I don't. I passed the right. spire about 12 miles back. Right. And so it was hot out there. Yeah. And, and even when the ladies that are with me, you know, and they're not going through menopause, they're, they're saying it's hot, you know. So <laughs> no, we were sweating. Yeah. But so, it's better than I mean, it, it's, right. not, it's not, it's not, it's not right. anywhere near the sacrifice that right. our Lord made for us. That's right. And he's, he, he, I don't want to have that conversation that God had with Job. But, you know, several times the Lord has said, if you really suffer, much from me. And so consequently, I don't look at this as a suffering. I look at, I preached my mother's funeral about a year and a half ago, and, and I do acrostics. I preach eight funerals. Her name is Doris, and the S, she has a servant's heart. And this allows me to take a servant's heart and put it into practice. Because missions is not crossing the sea, it's seeing the cross. And so when you see the cross, you know, I don't, I don't care what these ladies have done. Yes. Except for the grace of God, that's me or you. Well, Dr. Powell, I just want to thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts, from the Love Lady Center to you. Thank you for everything well, you've I done love for every love single you. woman. And listen, yeah. today, being with Dr. Powell should have maybe opened your heart a little bit to the Love Lady Center and what serving, what being a true servant, how it can move you into being more like Christ. And I ask you today, like Dr. Powell has chose to be part of the solution, 
I ask for you to be part of the solution and choose to become a Love Lady partner today. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>